Kansas and Missouri are home to millions of cattle, bought, raised, and sold by men like David Foster. Born and raised on a dairy farm in southeast Kansas, uh, fourth generation. Foster shared his story with KCTV5's Betsy Webster and me. He farms in Bourbon County, Kansas. In addition to the dairy, he owns Cash Cow Enterprises, a company that sells metal buildings like this one. It was through this business he met a cattleman from northwest Missouri, Joey Nelson. I thought that we were friends. Last spring, Nelson offered to tear down a building himself and reassemble it on his own farm. Here's the receipt. He was basically asking if he could be the subcontractor. He wanted to trade some of that labor for um, taking some of the materials home to use on his farm. For a while, everything was going well. The two started talking on a regular basis. He understood uh, my work ethic. He could relate to the hours and the strain, all that goes into farming. Eventually, Nelson convinced Foster to buy these refrigerated trailers so he could lease them. Here's the receipt from that agreement. So I was like, well, it's a good deal. It serves him, it serves me. Then in the fall, the two men partnered on some cattle. First a herd of 31, then a hundred more from Nick and Justin Diemel's livestock company in Wisconsin. Our arrangement was that I was going to purchase the calves, he was going to feed and raise them, and then when they got to weaning weight, we were going to sell them and split the profit. But things started to go sour. Foster says Nelson stopped making payments on the trailers and the shed. He felt like he got stabbed in the back. Their cattle deal wasn't going well either. It came time for them to be due to be weaned and then sold. And he was coming up with all these excuses and stories as to well, why he hadn't sold them yet. It got so bad, Foster started secretly recording his conversations with Nelson. We're going to go broke. We're going to go broke if we do not get a break here. When he asked for money, Nelson told him he didn't have it. If I had the money, I'd pay you. If not, but I don't want to, I can't. The audio is difficult to understand in places, but Nelson seems defensive. He says he's caught between people who aren't paying him and people he owes money to. And I've got guys in Wisconsin that, you know what, I'm trying to be nice because I know they are going to lose everything they own. He also references one of the Demel brothers. I told Justin, I said, Justin, I know we owe you a load of money. He tells Foster that he's ready to hurt himself or someone else. Short of pulling a gun on somebody and hoping I don't go to jail myself. I was basically ready to go visit um, and tell him face-to-face uh, -face or, you know, we needed to count cattle. Instead, Joey Nelson came to him without warning. They ended up being dumped off in, on the property at Foster Dairy. Not all of them, only about 35 of the 131. And as these pictures show, they looked malnourished. Those calves that we got just about made us sick to our stomach when they showed up. Underweight, missing patches of hair, a USDA inspector later noted multiple emaciated and thin calves. Foster still doesn't know for sure what happened to his other 95 cattle, though he suspects they died in Nelson's care. That's not a, a herdsman. That's not a feedlot owner. That's not a farmer. That's not normal. The two cattlemen had stopped speaking to each other, but Foster did start doing his own research. He found out about Nelson's former conviction for cattle fraud. Recently, he saw this interview. That I broke a rule in a loan. Didn't commit a crime. I didn't, you know, go out and rob a bank. He also reached out to Joey's other business partners, like the Demels. Everybody had a very similar story. He found out Joey had a separate cattle deal with the brothers, though he doesn't know the details. Knew that Nick uh, had every reason to be angry with Joey. Foster never did drive to Joey's farm. But in July, Nick and Justin Diemel did. It's pretty simple. It could have been me because I could have been in that p position. It's emotional for Foster. He feels duped and cheated by someone he once called a friend. And Nick has four kids. I have four kids. He says he shared his story with police, too. They're still investigating what happened on Nelson's farm before the Diemels disappeared. Right now, he's been charged with vehicle tampering but not murder. Just a fluke that they suffered this.